Counter Punch Boxing. Hola, como esta YouTube? How we doing tonight? Okay, look, I'm going to make it quick. I got a couple of updates I want to talk about with the uh, Lomachenko Lanares fight. Okay, uh, I put a look, I, I put up a post in my group, Counter Punch Boxing, on Facebook. Not very active on Twitter, but Facebook, incredibly active. A boxing group and uh basically it read as follows okay i posted uh, a few hours ago i said look we have a good loma video coming out tonight on youtube if there's anything you want us to talk about leave it below in the comment section so a few people out there uh for, for, me, whoa, 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 back up back up back up back up Shout out Joe Shelton, okay, um, sent me some awesome pictures from the Lomachenko fight, and you're actually looking at one of them now, I'll show you a few of them, so we uh, greatly appreciate that, appreciate that uh, Mr. Shelton, so um, yeah, really cool guy, you know, very knowledgeable, you know, just a down-to-earth cool boxing head like, like most of you out there, so thank you. One of the uh, the the questions though the scorecards okay obviously we're gonna talk about scorecards okay um no another one says scorecards and what about Canelo and the WBC Lenar Lenares weighing in this is what I want to touch on Lenares weighing in at 152 day of the fight Lomachenko 138 also the acne on Lenares chest and back hmm okay definitely going to touch on that here in a second okay not sure if you already mentioned uh, uh made the video about jamie yes we're going to talk about uh, the the middleweight fight the saddam ali fight you know five possible next opponents uh the double standards when golovkin's camp through okay well that's a that's a golovkin video uh and then, then another person asks where did the lenara's weight come from and you can go to la times and they they put up an article uh, with the weight, and actually, look, here's the scorecards, but look, we'll talk about the weights real quick, because that, to me, the weights, the knockdown, because look, was it really a knockdown? You know, I'm going to show you guys a couple of things that might change your mind, okay? You know, was it really a knockdown? Okay, but look, look, look at the weight. All right, Lenara is weighed 152 pounds Saturday after rehydrating from 134.6 pounds the day before the, the weigh-in. Uh, Lomachenko uh, came in at 138. Okay, so 38, 48 is 10 pounds. Uh, you got about, you know, about a 14, 15 pound dip. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. Look, that's like like Charlo, Jamar Charlo fighting like Kovalev, okay? I mean, to look, to do what Lomachenko did was absolutely nothing short of incredible. And, you know, I think it's funny, you know, all, all the, 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 the haters out there, right? The channels that will not give him a, an ounce of credit, just an ounce of credit, you know, making videos like, one of them, I think 78, put out a video, you know, basically mocking, you know, you, you and me, the fans, the people that actually understand and appreciate boxing. You know, we're not in it to, for clickbait and to make money and, you know, for profit to, to leech. That's, to, to, that's what it's leeching, okay? To leech off of boxing. We're in it because we're passionate about it and things like that. Uh, I guess it's probably not a good time to mention my Patreon account, but we'll get to that later. I need to start. I need to start covering fights, damn it. So uh, we'll get to that later. I'm not. I'm not going to plug that right now. But you know, just he's not getting the credit he deserves. Like I said, I mean, you look look at what he did. He jumped up. You know, fought the number one lightweight. The number one. I mean, you know, look, you got you 26, 26, 30, going up to one thirty five, right? I mean, that's unheard of. Unheard. Like I said, it's like Charlo jumping up to fight Kovalev or Amir Khan jumping up to fight Charlo. Like, however you want to word it. I mean, incredible, right? You know, three belts and 12 fights, you know, the whole thing. So, but but the weight difference, uh, yeah, you know, um, <clears throat> so he was much, right there. They continued to say uh, he was so much quicker than Linares, but the guy clearly outsized him, Aram said. Okay, now let's read. But actually, you know what? Let's go over the knockdown. Let's, and, and again, thank you, uh, Joel, for the, uh, the pictures. But let's go over the knockdown. Okay, if you notice, okay. If you notice, pay close attention to the footwork here. Loma comes in. Now, look, it was a knockdown, okay, but 
was it more of a getting knocked off balance than getting knocked down? Because all, all here's the thing. All the Canelo fans out there, I'm just going to get right to it. All the Canelo fans, they also like Len Linares, right? Because, you know, it's all the whole golden boy thing and they're all together, whatever. So for whatever reason, like the Golubkin haters also hate Loma. You know, I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm putting it, you're really putting it together lately. I don't understand it personally because, I mean, these guys are all individuals. I mean, you know, it doesn't really matter you know, what uh, promotional umbrella they fight under. But because Linares is Golden Boy, then, you know, he's Team Canelo. But anyway, anyway, okay, so check it out. His right foot, okay, his lead foot steps on Linares' lead foot, the left foot, okay. Then he, he comes right down the middle with that beautiful straight right, okay. Let's see, I think I have a picture right here. Okay, comes right down the middle. Then, okay, if you notice, look at the ankle. Then Loma, he, he kind of falls back and his ankle twists. So, and, and if you look at his body, it's like his feet were in front and like his torso, hips, butt, torso, you know, shoulders, it, it was behind him. Okay, so first he, he, he walks up, steps on the foot. Okay, that, that's mistake number one. Then the right hand comes, okay? Then he leans right here on his back foot and ultimately, ultimately goes down. Okay, you can see another shot of it there. You know, here's the side view right here, okay? You know, uh, and yeah, it was a knockdown. I mean, look, there, but there's, there's different types of knockdowns. There's a flash knockdown. And to me, people are calling this a flash knockdown. I don't agree with that because I don't think he was stunned. I think maybe just he might, he might have got a little buzz, but I would definitely wouldn't call it stunned. Okay. You know, I think it was a matter of he stepped on his foot. The punch landed. His body wasn't in line. He jumped in. He made a mistake and he paid for it. Okay. He, he made a mistake and he paid for it. So, it, unfortunately, you know, I think if his body would have uh, been positioned different, if he wouldn't have stepped on his foot, you know, if he had his foot planted like it should have been, you know, pressing off the back foot kind of thing, I don't think he would have went down. You know, I don't think he would have went down because I think, you know, he, he ate some hard shots. And that's another thing I'd like to talk about. I mean, the hard shots that, that, that was landed and that Lomachenko just shook them off. I mean, just shook them off. I mean, I mean I, look, I'm blown away. To me, this is like not unreal. Um, this is like some kind of fantasy fight thing that, that actually happened. You know, we talk about that a lot. You know, what if, what if, you know, what if Sugar Ray Robinson fought Mayweather? We know all these like crazy fantasy matchups. Well, this is like a real life fantasy matchup okay and Loma did you know did what he did now let me read a couple of things here about the scorecard and I'll give you my I'll give you my honest opinion okay I don't like reading all this crap so just give me two like give me one minute okay Aram seemed to agree with why is well let me go back sorry that's that's uh that's page two Okay, Bob Aram couldn't believe what he heard when Vasily Lomachenko's promoter learned his fighter was behind by two points on one scorecard entering the faithful 10 round on Saturday night. Aram wondered how that was possible. Judge Robin Taylor had Linares ahead 86-84 in what had been a very competitive tactical lightweight title bout before Lomachenko stopped Linares in the 10th round. Another judge, Weisfeld, you know, we all know, had it 86-84, Letterman 85-85. Okay, Letterman scored five rounds for Lomachenko. Okay, you know, so basically you had three judges. One of them had it for Linares. Okay, one of them had it for Lomachenko, and one of them had it even. Now, here's my thing. I don't think I don't think it's that terrible. I mean, you know, I think they should have at least, in my mind, Lomo's up by at least six rounds. Okay, so six out of ten, right? You know, so you know, so I guess to to, to say five rounds. I mean, is that is that is that that you know big of a stretch? Is what I'm trying to say. You know, if it would have been a little bit deeper, then okay. But but you know, I don't know. I mean, the more I think about it, you know, I, I just don't. I don't agree with it, okay? Don't get me wrong, but there's a lot of people who are really upset by the cards, and I'm like, you know, look, you know, you got one judge here, 85-85, okay? He's got it even, or she, Letterman, okay? Then Robin Taylor, another female judge, uh, has it 86-84, okay, for Linares. And then you have the final judge, uh, Steve Weisfeld, or who is this here? Yeah, Steve Weisfeld has an 89-86, okay, 
for Lenara. Sorry, excuse me. I, I need to correct that. 89, yeah. So you got one, basically, like I said, one up, one down, one in the middle. Okay. It's, it's not that far off, okay? It's not like a 118, 110, like Adelaide Bird, uh, Golovkin, Canelo type situation. So, you know, basically we're, we're not in agreement on about one round here. And then you have to remember the 10-8 round and stuff like that, which in this equation doesn't really matter anymore. I mean, it does and it doesn't. So it, it's a little bit confusing. But my point is, I, I mean, I don't see how any judge could have given uh, Loma less than six rounds okay so you know you had some you know some judges giving them only five rounds and you know others even and, and the other above so it, it's not that bad it's not that bad i just don't understand why people are just completely freaking out about it so but uh look, i'll show you guys a couple of pictures here from a fight night you know like i said just some some really cool pictures so thank you uh joel Sh joel joel i don't know if it's joel or joel Sh uh, shelton here let me go read his name real quick i'm gonna get this right you know i've known the dude a long time but i'm terrible i mean terrible j-o-e-l shelton is it joel or joel it's probably joel i mean you know i have like a fifth grade education i do apologize but really cool pictures you know thank you mr shelton uh we you know i really appreciate it and there's some video he's going to send me too that i can share with you guys but uh you know look in closing in closing you know i'm going to say like i said the judges I don't think they had it right, but it wasn't terrible, okay? The knockdown, yeah, it was a knockdown, but there's a big asterisk, a big butt, you know, attached to that. Uh, Loma, where does he go next, okay? Bob Aram talked about, you know, a Ray Beltran, so we're probably going to get a fight with Ray Beltran, probably, you know, most likely, if he stays, uh, you know, in this particular division, you know, then we also got Manny Pacquiao out there, you know, they're talking about a catch weight, you know, 140 pound catch weight. And then, you know, of course, you got Javante Davis. I mean, really, those are like the three most realistic names right now, unless like there's a wild card that pops up another no name, you know, Loma can show off. Okay. Uh, but to me, I'm going to say Bel Ray Beltran, you know, that's my pick. I'm 70 80 percent sure that's that's what it's going to be okay you know um I, I'm, I'm curious to see what you guys think but that's my that's my my pick you know or or maybe a manny pacquiao you know a money grab that kind of thing you know so and, and you know and, and in closing lomachenko okay you know yeah in my mind right now he is pound for pound number one over Terrence Crawford, over Gennady Golovkin, over all of them. You know, he is pound for pound number one. What this guy is doing and has done is incredible, exceptional, extraordinary. You know, you attach the word, okay? And, and, it, and it, for the life of me, you know, anyone who doesn't give this dude the, the due credit is, is not a real boxing fan because there's no debate. You know, it's not open for debate. What he has done is truly incredible, so, you know, if if you don't see that, then you probably don't need to be reporting on boxing. You know, he is pound for pound king number one. You know, he's he's brought us excitement, you know, and intrigue and like we can't wait to see what's next. I mean, if you're like me, I cannot wait to see the next fight. I can't wait. You know, I wish it was already here. And I haven't felt that way in a long time. You know, it's been a long time since, you know, I've uh, you know, a boxer made me feel like that. Like I can't wait to watch him again, like an early Pacquiao, an early Tyson, you know, uh, things like that. Like it's been so long. So, you know, here it is, you know, and he's fairly young. I believe he's around 30. Uh, you know, my only concern for him is, you know, the, the, the risk, you know, he's taking, he, he wants to make history in the ring and he's trying to do all these crazy things. And it might, you know, it might be a little bit too much, you know, you know, but besides that knockdown and I and actually, I'll, let me, let me close here. I was talking to a friend right after the fight and I said, look, that was a big right hand and it was, and I'm not trying to contradict what I just said, but I think that right hand would have dropped, you know, uh, a seasoned light welterweight you know anyone you, you you know pick anyone at 140 you know whoever it may be and that that punch lenar has landed would have dropped them you know given the position of, of, of the feet you know and all of that you take all of the circumstances and it, it was a good punch you know and and another thing man i just keep adding to it sorry but the body acne you know uh what is up with golden boy and their fighters and the body acne you know, what, what's the deal with this? We see it all the time, you know, all the damn time. Uh, who was it the other day? Um, 
it was in the uh, the fly the flyweight what, what was a super fly you know I can't remember who it was covered in acne you know uh, another golden boy fighter um, got busted and blamed it on contaminated meat you know covered in covered in acne you know here we have Linares covered in acne and of course you know he didn't give an explanation because no one brought it up but what is what is that with golden boy fighters and you know the body acne. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Just a little something to think about. You know, someone asked me to bring it up, so there you go. I brought it up. You know, you guys can 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 hash it out, bang it out in the comment section. So what do you think? Leave it below.